painting we're going to do today and I'm going to call it Flowers Over a Night Moon Sky. And this is a beautiful painting. It's so easy. I'll show you techniques on how to make those beautiful stars and a big moon with half the moon under the water and all the flowers is growing up towards that beautiful big moon. So let's get started. So all you need for this painting uh, is cat red and I have cat yellow and I have titanium white and I also have some ultramarine blue. Uh, this one's Windsor blue but uh, ultramarine blue is much better. So, and I also have some nice brushes for you to use, and this will make your painting a lot simpler. I have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush, and a long one and a short one. You need a couple of different brushes just in case some don't work out for you. So it's nice to have a few extra brushes around. And that's about it for the brushes. When we come up with something else, I'll guide you along. Is we're okay. going to take our canvas. And the first thing we're going to do is paint the whole background. Now just take your flat brush. You can be bristle or a sable. Okay, and put it into blue. Let's go with blue first just to get us started, okay? So just start painting on your blue. Very simple. Just get it on there. Go back and forth, long strokes so you won't get any anything that canvas comes through. Or So we go long strokes, it'll make a nice blend. So now you got all that on there. Now we can add a little blue to black, just a little bit. Just a little bit, because we don't want it to turn pure black. And then we'll add, we'll, we'll keep the blue. Just want to darken it up, we don't want it to be too black. Good. So keep adding your blue. So going for more blue, so think about more blue than black, okay? Just make sure the blue is dominant. I might have a little bit too much black up there, but that's okay. So what a nice dark sky. So keep going with the blue. Keep going with the blue. There we go. See how pretty that is? And we will, I'm pretty messy, I know. We will add a little tiny bit of black again, not too much. Black is pretty dominant. And we'll put that in with the blue. It doesn't have to totally blend, but as long as it's not just sitting out on the canvas. So just go back and forth. It won't it won't totally blend anyway. So more blue. Good. Pretty. As we get down further, we'll just go a little darker. It's going to be some dark grass down here anyway. Good. We'll keep that going and going and going. Good. And more blue. So you're going back and forth with blue and black. Make it simple for you so you won't have to worry about how many colors we need. You just have to work with two colors for this. Perfect. Now that's a nice little background. Now when your canvas is completely dry, you're going to draw a round circle for your moon. And you can use, depending on the size of your canvas, you can use anything round, and depending on how big you want it. And you can put that on there, and then take a piece of chalk and draw around. Okay, so just take it and hold it on, lay it flat, whatever you have to do, and then draw your circle. And then you have a nice circle of chalk. That way, if you don't like it, you can just take it out with a damp cloth or a damp, damp brush, and then start over. And then when you're finished your painting, you can also wipe it out. So all you have to do now is 
All you have to do is take your filbert brush or your flat, don't matter, and we'll get some yellow. So just take some yellow, put it on your brush, and then start filling it in. It's simple. Let's so just fill it all in with yellow. We'll brighten it up with some white also on a second coat. You're definitely going to need a second coat because the background's really dark, so it'll darken up your yellow. So just keep putting on your yellow. And you use a chalk line to keep it round. That will be your guide. And I find a filbert brush has a round edge on it. So that will help keep the roundness. There we go. Good, see that? See how that chalk mark makes it easy to get that roundness? Just follow the chalk mark. Fill it in, wait for it to dry, and we'll do a second coat. Smooth it out. Good. Nice. Now let's do our second coat. Just put some yellow on your brush and start painting over the dry paint that you just did. And that way if you've got anything you need to straighten up on the edges here, you can go ahead. Right. Good. So straighten it up. Put on your yellow first. And while it's still wet, get the edges straightened up here and while it's still wet put on some white so put some white on your brush and then start adding that to your yellow and that will brighten it up really nice for you good and that should do two coats should do it Brighten up your yellow, give you a nice glow to your moon. Yeah, you gotta be a little careful around the lines there so you can get it nice, right? So you can get it nice and round. So I'm adding more white. That should do it. So we'll let that dry and we'll do our next step. Now that it's dry, put some tape on it across the center of your moon so we can cut it in half and then take some of your blue and that should do it. Take some of your blue. You just want to make a horizon line, that's all. And, and then you're just going to go on top of the tape that you just put on. Use tape as a guide just so that you get a little bit on top of the tape. You'll be able to see it going up into the moon a little bit there. Just go across. My moon is still a little bit wet, but make sure your moon is dry. Once you get a horizon line on there, it doesn't matter if it's real straight or it could be waves, it could be anything. But it would be nice if it was straight. All right, a nice horizon line. Probably you just touch and pull over. You probably get a better horizon line that way. There we go. Good. Now just take your tape off, and you got your horizon line. Mine's a little bit thick, but that's okay because I can use that as uh, some water. Now, what we'll do is we'll make the reflection under the water of the moon. So what we're going to do is very simple. Take some of your blue paint, lay it aside, get some water on your brush. Don't wipe it off this time. Don't wipe your brush off. Let it be watery. See that? See that? It's transparent now. So you're going to take that and you're going to pull that right over on your moon. Just like that. 
pull it over. See how you can still see the moon? So as long as you got transparent paint, it's a glaze, you'll get that really nice look of reflection under the water. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to do another coat because that's not dark enough. All right. Good. Let's try that again. Add, I'm going to add a little more paint this time because I think I might have had a bit too watery. Like I say, I want you to see mistakes I make or if I don't do it right, I want to make sure you, I correct it for you. So I'm going to try it again now and I'm going to try. I might come on all the way over here and then all the way over here. There we go. That's better. Now you can see it. Good. I'm going to start from one end of the canvas and go to the other end. That way it will all blend nicely. There we go. That's much better. Good. So just go over it until you get the look you're looking for. I'm picking up some of my yellow because my moon uh, wasn't quite dry because I'm trying to get this done for you and certainly don't want to make this video too long. But that's okay because that could be the glow of the moon. Actually, that's nice. I was going to put some highlights in there anyway. So let's just continue on. Just put on your, if you lose some of your blue, just put it back. Good. There we go. That's a nice reflection. Yeah, and you make a little bit of, you can add a little bit more blue down here just to give it a, a little bit of a brighter look from the moon. Just add, you know, your highlights and just play with it until you get what you're looking for. It's pretty simple techniques and steps. Good. So next what we're going to do is let's do those little foliage down on the bottom here. Okay. All you need is your flat brush again or it would be better if you had, let's see, let's see. If your flat brush has a chiseled edge down it, chisel edge, then that would be much better. Just as long as it got a chisel edge, which means that the front of the it's nice and thin, see that? Okay, so that's all you need. So just use a small chiseled edge flat brush and just pull up. What we'll do first is we'll make a little bit of a piece of land so that it looks like it's sitting on that land. There we go. So just put some black on there. a piece of land there to hold on to your foliage, your flowers, whatever you want there. Good. Make it a little bumpy if you want. It's land so it can be a little bumpy. That's good. Now Take your brush, same brush, fill it up with black and take the chiseled edge and start pulling up some of those long foliages here. You can't see a lot of them right now, but when you put some highlights on you'll be able to see it more. So make some longer on the ends and curve a few if you want just to give it like it's blowing around. Up, 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 pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. And the ones in the middle can be smaller, and the ones on the ends can be taller. All right. Don't have to be too fussy. Just pull up. Straight up. Because we'll get our highlights to add some nice shapes. We'll go in the middle. Make some more, but we'll have them a little shorter in the middle. Good. Good, good. Keep them going. 
get the ones you want, get them the shapes you want. Go to the right and go to the left. Whoops, okay, it's a nice big tall one there. All right, so I'm going to make them a little taller up here on the edge. A little taller up here. Don't make them totally straight, just give them a little bit of interest by curving them a little bit. Curving them in towards the moon. That way when people are looking at your painting, they will s the foliage will draw their eye to the moon. See? Little tricks. All right, so we'll just keep adding as many as you want. And whatever way you want them there. You can also use a liner brush. Use a liner brush to make even thinner ones. Probably a little liner brush and see if you can get some thinner ones going on there. Just to get some interest to make some different shapes. Good, Sarah, there we go. Nice. Now, get it as many as you want. See? Now it's really dark, so it's hard for you to actually see. But there they are. Now, the paint is wet, so that's why it's glowing there. That's basically just a little way of uh, adding some interest to your painting. You can also use, let's see, let's see, a flat brush or you can use a fan brush. I got a little fan brush here. I'm going to try my fan brush. See, there it is. And you turn it to the side and you can pull up some nice foliage also. So you can layer this foliage so it makes it look nice and thick. There we go. Tall grasses. That's all, just tall grasses. Good. Now, we got that done. I'm going to highlight that now next. Good. Now what you can do next is we can put the highlights shimmering from the moon here, right here. So while you're waiting for your foliage to dry, if you want, so let's let's go with the putting some highlights from the moon. How's that? So just take your flat brush, your flat, flat filbert, or um, and we can add some blue. White. Now let's see. Let's see. Just wondering if I should just add yellow. Let's go with the um, still blue. Let's go with some yellow and a little bit of white. Don't need a big lot of paint. Just a little bit of paint on your edge of your brush. And then just take that and start. Touch where you want to have the highlights start. And then just wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That way you can leave, see? Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So just wiggle, the, I'm barely touching the canvas because I don't want to lose my blue underneath. I don't want it to be uh, just one big blob of yellow. I'm just wiggling my brush very gently over the blue. And I'm just getting it on there. Good. That's it. Simple as pie. Now, pretty. Now with your flat brush or your liner brush, or even a fan brush, but I didn't say you need a fan, a fan brush. So I'm just going to pick up some yellow, my flat brush, and I'm going to pick some spots on the edges of these nice tall grasses. I'm just going to tap, 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 tap. Here we go. Just a little bit. So you put them all around wherever you want them and just 
tap 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 now right if you drag them on you're not going to get that nice let's see see if you drag them on you may just get a straight yellow line you don't want that just tap 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 good now you just tap 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 there we go just tap it in and do them all on the moon is shining on this side so on the right side of those you will put your highlights and on the left side of these you will put your highlights okay because the glow is coming in from the middle so that's the way it would work so I'm just going to put them on all the different tap 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 and that brings out these nice foliage tap 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 and you can go down as far as you want and go up as far as you want depends on how you know your moon is shining on your foliage so we'll put some down here tap 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 there we go there we go tap 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 I have to say tap 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 to myself so I'll, I won't drag it too much I'll get them a little brighter here in the middle so I'm gonna add a little bit of white because the moon is shining directly on these here so I just brighten it up a little bit by adding a little more if you end up putting on too much, we can go back over a little bit of black, which I might do because I'm, I think I'm putting on a little bit too much. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Good. You can even bring it down a little bit here, but the shadows are down there, so. Tap it on, tap it on. Good. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. So you put them wherever you want them. And I just want to scrub in a little bit there just to see what, what you can get out of it. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to put a little bit more up here. So stand back and look at your painting and see where you think it needs more. See what way you'd like to see your shapes. So stand back, have a look, and see what you think. Now this time get your flat brush and pick up some green. Just green for now. And let's just tap in a little bit of green foliage down here in the center just to bring it to life a little bit. That, if your paint is wet it'll, it'll absorb the green. So you can have it dry or you can let it absorb the green. There we go. That kind of brightens up the center there too down the bottom. But just in the middle. That'll give it a nice... Yeah. So that, that's absorbing the green there now, but we'll, we'll do some more. So you get a bit of green on the bottom, and I'm going to put some more black back into my, some of these, because I think it's a bit too, too much paint in some cases. But you can leave, if you, if you like it the way it is, you go ahead and keep it. I'm just trying to take out some of the brights. I did too much. See, I want you to see everything I'm doing. I want you to see my mistakes and the way I fix things. Because a lot of people who are painting, they, may, they do something and they're like, I don't know how to fix that. So it, as I'm making errors or mistakes, although there's no mistakes in painting, but you can correct them. And I wanted to show you how to do it. So we got too much paint on something. Go back with the original color that you painted it with, okay? And that will help tone it down a little bit. Good. The green's down there. It's hard to see it because of the... But that's actually a bit of green. Excellent. Not much left to do now. So we have that much done. Now I'm going to put a little bit more green in between my long grass. 
So I'm just using my flat brush again. I got a bristle brush here, but you can use a sable. Picking up a little bit of green. It's all just picking up a bit of green. And I'm just going to tap in between these just very gently. If it's too much paint, just take it out. Just a little bit, just to, to say that there's some grass and greenery down here. Good. When that dries, I should be able to get a better picture for you. Just go with the flow. You want to keep it dark on the ends because that's where the shadows are. So we just want to keep the middle, some greens and some yellows. That's it. Nothing too serious. See, I just put a few little dabs in here. That's all. Tap, 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 tap. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. So I'm just tapping, up. and I'm tapping up instead of across this time, just as if there's some foliage down here. Tapping up with the long grass there. Good. Now, it, like I said, the colors are. Um, hard to see because it's uh, the darks and if you want to what I can do is I can highlight this grass down here with a little bit of yellow with my flat brush down here so you can see it better tap 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 on top of that see just brighten it up a little bit because the moon is shining down there see just a little bit on the top. Like I said, keep it centered. Keep it centered so that it looks like the moon is shining down that area. Nice. Good. Okay, so why don't we put a few little stars in the sky. So I'm going to use a toothpick. You can use the end of your uh, small small or you can use the top of uh, a liner brush or the end is better because it won't move around too much and just tap your tap your uh, toothpick in some paint and just tap on some stars and while you're doing this do don't not, do not get any more paint until you have no more paint left uh, see I'm still getting some paint coming off see that I hope you can see that. All right. So just get your paint, tap into your paint and do it. Tap, tap, tap all your paint off your toothpick until there's hardly any left on it. Keep going, keep going, don't stop. You know what I mean? Like just keep going until there's no more paint because that way you'll get far away stars and you'll get bigger stars and get different sizes okay so and when there's absolutely no more paint on your toothpick go back and get some more and then you get nice big ones then you get a big one and you get small ones because like I say you don't want all the stars to be the same you can even make some shooting stars just by boop so simple as pie. So put in as many stars as you want. But, like I said, if you get big, big drips of paint and you, you drop some paint on it or something happens, just take your a small brush and put some black and blue on it or same color as the sky and dab it out. See? So now you can add anything else you want to your painting. I'm going to add just a little bird there just to show you that you can add something. So I have a little one here. But you can add anything you want. You can have the cow jumping over the moon if you want. Whatever you want, you put it in. So I'm just putting a little, a little bird in here just to show that there's... So just take a very small brush, a liner brush, and make the letter V. And that's all you have to do. Just make the letter V and make a smaller letter V underneath it just to show that the one is far away. Okay? So you got T, 
too. I think it'd be nice to add yeah. some nice little colorful flowers here. And I'm thinking maybe some nice pink flowers. Probably some red on this corner of your filbert brush and white on the other end. Kind of looks like that. And with your red side down, put one there, one here, small one here, here. A cute little flower, isn't it? more red. Let's make some more. They're so cute. Just touch. Red, white. So just red on the bottom, white on the top, right there like that. We we'll call that the heel and the toe. And I think I might move that up a little bit more towards the right. Make a little one there. And I'm thinking we could bring these up a little higher closer to the moon. So I'm going to get a liner brush and I'm going to bring these up a little closer to the moon. just so that the flowers overlap the moon. I'm just using black because it's silhouette, but we're going to add a little color to our silhouette. There we go. Some nice ones up here. These little branches coming off so that we can put some flowers on there. So you can do anything with your painting if you don't like it or you're disappointed with it. All you do is add some flowers, depending on what you painted. Let's try this. So far I like it. Let's put some pink flowers or whatever colors you want. Just adding some pretty flowers. I'll just touch some more paint if we need it. Touch. They don't have to always be three or four petals, it can be just one, like that. And you can touch very gently and make tiny ones. Just so cute. Red side down. You can have all colors.
It looks so much prettier, doesn't it, with the flowers? Really brighten it up a lot. They don't all have to be the same size. They can be different sizes. Touch, 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 touch. You can put these flowers in any painting that you have. Put a little fence there and put some flowers there and get a nice little painting. Everybody loves flowers. Everybody loves flowers. How pretty that is. There we go. There we go. So you can look around and see where you like to put them. It's just a matter of touching. And we're all headed towards the moon. That's pretty. It's pretty. Put some blue and uh, blue and red together. Kind of make a purplish color. Make them a little darker. A little bit of yellow. A little yellow. Let's try something different. Yeah, that doesn't want to go on there. But because it's a little darker down here, let's just put a couple of small ones down here and see what it looks like. Yeah, some down here hiding. I'm not even going to go get any more paint. I'm just going to tap on what I have here on my brush. go. Whatever's on your brush, just let it come off. Just touch, tap. Thank you for painting along with me. I hope you enjoyed that painting. And if you did enjoy that painting, leave a comment below in the comment section. Let me know what you liked about that painting. What part of that painting did you like? What was your favorite part? And if you have any questions about brushes or paints 
or anything about the painting itself, just email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com or leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.